Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play The Elder Scrolls III Morrowind, Game of the Year Edition. I'm going to do the recap on the go, because I want to do this quest for the Fighters Guild, the Egg Poachers. And that means heading a bit southwest of Balmora to reach Shulk Egg Mine. We've seen it before, we just didn't go in. Anyway, in our last video, Fedor gave Hasfed and Tablis the Dwemer Puzzle Box. Go ahead, I'm listening. And in return, Hasfat gave Fedor his notes on the Sixth House Secret Cult, and a referral to Sharn Gra Muzgob in the Mages Guild for more information about the Nerevarine Secret Cult, because he apparently doesn't know a whole lot about that. Fedor ran all that over to Caius, who said, Yeah, great. Go talk to Sharn Gra Muzgob. So he did, and she said, sure, I can help you, but I need you to run a little errand for me first. I want the skull of the view Andrano from Andrano Ancestral Tomb. So Fetter's going to have to go do that shortly. In other news, he was accosted by some dark elves who called themselves sleepers and were blathering some nonsense about Red Mountain and the return of Dagoth Ur and the Sixth House. Sounded a bit like the soul sickness, I think. He also did a uh, little cheatin' for Ajira in the Mage's Guild. Messed with poor Galbadir. And stole all of her very expensive soul gems, which was wonderful, really. And uh, then Ajira asked him to go pick some flowers, which we'll do later. And here we are. Let's talk to these people. Hi. Hello. Be a I don't know day, if I can you help think? you, but uh, I'll try. Okay, we'll talk to you first, Findulane. I'm a miner in the Shulk Egg Mine, but I'm getting some fresh air. Okay, well, what's your background? I'm just an egg miner. Okay, you want to tell me about being an egg miner? Because we, we haven't spoken with any egg miners. I am a miner. Usually, here on Vardenfell, being a miner means you're an egg miner. Scrib jerky and scrib jelly, quama eggs and quama cuddle are the basis of our Vardenfell economy. Yes, there are more valuable resources we take from mines. Raw ebony, raw glass, drag wax, daedra skin, daedra heart, diamond, ash salts, and so forth. And that's good work too. But it's the egg miners that feed Morrowind and bring cash from all over the Empire. Well, thanks for your valuable contribution to the economy, then. Let's see, what do you know about blight disease? Ridding a colony of blight is expensive and dangerous because of the fierce attacks of sick Kwama foragers and warriors and the risk of spreading disease. Hmm. Tell me about Kwama foragers. The Kwama forager scouts the surface of the land and natural underground passages, searching for suitable locations for new colonies and hunting for prey. Foragers are aggressive, but not very dangerous. Okay. Tell me about Scrib Jelly. Scribs are little baby Kwama. We shuck the shells, crush the flesh into a jelly. Doesn't taste bad. And filling. Takes a while getting used to the texture, though. Oh, well, that sounds... nasty. You want to tell me about Scribs? The Scrib is a late larval form of the Kwama. Crushed scribs produce a nutritious but sour-tasting gelatin with modest magical properties that the natives eat with gusto. Well, good for them. How about Kwama? Kwama colonies, also known as egg mines, are inhabited by the following varieties of Kwama. Kwama queen, Kwama warrior, Kwama worker, Kwama forager, and scrib. What, no Kwama chameleon? Let's hear about the queen. The Kwama Queen is the huge, bloated Kwama that produces the nest's eggs. They are too large and fat to move, and all their needs are attended by worker Kwama. What about Kwama Warriors? The Kwama Warrior defends the Kwama Colony's tunnels and chambers. Warriors are aggressive and dangerous. Uh, what about the Kwama Worker? The Kwama Worker digs the colony's tunnels and chambers and tends the queen and the eggs. Workers are unaggressive, but not completely helpless. All right, and we've already asked about the forger and the scrib. Let's see, what else could we talk about? We've already spoken with somebody about being a Bosmer, I'm sure. 
What do you know about the egg poachers? We haven't seen Civilo Othen or Daniela Vallis, but eggs keep disappearing, and they know the place. Easy for them to get in and out, stay out of sight. Uh-huh. Okay. Let's see, what else? Oh, we can always ask the four. Why not? We've heard that. And that. This is new. Want to cure a blighted queen but don't have the cure blight spell? Then you need to buy some scroll of Darir's Blessing Scrolls. Not Darir's Miracle. They cure you. Darir's Blessing Scrolls cure the target. Try Cruelius Pontanian at Fort Moonmoth, or Morasso Saran at Telvanni Council Hall, or Urezu Droth at the Aldruin Temple. Huh. That's a good point. I don't think we have anything that could cure someone else. Hmm. I guess that's important. And we've heard that as well. Okay. Well, thank you. You've been quite informative. And how about you, Dinok? I'm a miner in the Shulk Egg Mine, but I'm just out here taking a break. Well, let's see. I don't think he'll have anything different to say. Maybe he knows something else about the egg poachers. Savillo Othan and Daniela Vallis used to work here. Not good people. Could be hiding anywhere in the mine. Yikes. And what about the four? We've heard all of that. Alright. Thanks, guys. But it's time to go in. Let's get a torch ready. How about that? Wouldn't mind getting a few more of those. I was just seeing if I could take... I can! That is a miner's pick. Uh... Don't think I need it, but... Well, we know where we can get one. Anyway, here we are. Shulk Egg Mine. I liked the sound of that door. Usually they're all ka-chunk, you know? But that was just squeak! Yeah. I'm sorry, I just like that. <laughs> okay. Um, let's get the sword. Ooh. Well, we're not getting combat music, so I guess this is not an aggressive critter. Hi. This is a Kwama worker. Okay, well. You leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. Let's also have Firebite ready. Yes, I didn't actually want... No. Anyway, okay. Kwama egg sacks, huh? Large Kwama egg. Uh, they're not very valuable. I don't think I'm going to take them. I, I think Fetter is at the point where he doesn't have to take every little thing anymore. What, who wants to f Oh, okay. Yeah. Dead Kwama Forager. We have run into those before. Aggressive little snots. But yeah, uh, Fetter doesn't have to take every little thing anymore because he's he's doing okay in the money department. Almost 10,000 gold. Whether that's a lot or not, I, I, I couldn't say, but... He seems to be doing all right. What do we have here? The mining camp. Okay. Looks like we got some people here. Don't like to run up to people with a sword out. It's kind of rude. Hello, Miner Katie. Well, I'm listening, so go ahead. While you're in our egg mine, please don't harm the workers. They won't bother you. But Kwama forgers and warriors will attack you, since they don't recognize your smell. Avoid them, or go ahead and kill them if you have to. Don't worry, the hive can replace them fast enough. Oh, that's good to know. What do you know about the egg poachers? We don't know anything about that. We're just doing our jobs. Okay. Let's ask the four. We've heard that. And we've heard that. We haven't heard this, though. 
when the Blight gets a mine, you have to kill or cure them. It doesn't pay to cure the forgers, workers, or warriors. A healthy queen can produce them fast enough. But you have to cure the queen, or the mine is doomed. To cure the queen, you need to cast a Cure Blight spell or have a scroll of Darir's Blessing. Okay, this is the second person who has said something to that effect, so I am getting the distinct impression that it is very important that Fetter be able to either cast Cure Blight Disease on touch, or that he have some of these Scrolls of Darir's Blessing available. So we'll need to get some. And we've heard that. All right, thank you. Do you have something to say, Dumner? <sighs> Man. Minor gore. Why? You're in an egg mine, Outlander, so be careful. Quama forgers and warriors won't attack miners since they're used to our smell, but they attack intruders, and do you smell like an intruder? I'm sure I smell like quite a few things. What do you know about the egg poachers? Uh, we've heard that. Alright, how about the four? We've heard that, and that, and that, and that. Okay. Cool. I wonder if we can take things out of that. I think these are probably owned. So we'll, even if, I mean, we don't want those eggs, obviously, but even if we did, I don't think I would take them. Can you ask your question quickly? Perhaps. Hello, Miner Juilin. You're in an egg mine, Outlander, so be careful. Quama forgers and warriors won't attack miners since they're used to our smell but they attack intruders, and do you smell like an intruder? I'm sure I do. Tell me about the egg poachers. Well, we've heard that. What about the four? Heard that, and that, and that, and that. All right. Doesn't hurt to check. Well, this seems pretty cut and dry. I mean, we could jump up here and see if... Whoa! Okay, whatever that was. Nothing in there. Boo. Okay. We'll just keep going. I saw somebody I want to speak to up here, I think. Pardon? Well, maybe I didn't. Did they turn back while I was goofing around, or is that... That's just... No, no, they're... Okay. What's your story? While you're in our egg mine, please don't harm the workers. They won't bother you. But Quama forgers and warriors will attack you, since they don't recognize your smell. Avoid them, or go ahead and kill them if you have to. Don't worry, the hive can replace them fast enough. Well, that's good. Tell me about the egg poachers. Uh-huh. All right. What about the four? Heard that, and that, and that, and that. Just being thorough. Gotta talk to everybody. There's not a lot going on here, is there? Everybody's just doing their Kwama things. Oh, lost a torch. Problem solved. Ooh, the Queen's Lair. That sounds exciting, I guess. Let's go in. Uh-oh. Ooh. Hold on. Okay. I want to practice... Uh, I know this is a quest for the Fighter's Guild, but I want to practice magic. Let's see. Thing is, I can't use Firebite because they are uh, Dark Elves. They will have resistance to fire. So we're going to use Frostbite, and it's going to be fun. Let's go. Well, it has to actually cast, of course. Oh, well. We did what we could. And now we'll just slice them up. I don't think so. Well done, Fetter. So here's Savillo Othan. 
How many eggs is that? Ten? Uh, don't want them. Don't need any of your other junk either. And... Tinella Vallis. Also nothing. Ah, uh, we can take the cuddle though. Why not? Why not? Well, that was silly. Just more eggs. Whoa. Looks like they're having a dance party in there. We'll have to check that out. It's over here. That just goes to Shulk Egg Mine. Okay. Hi. Is this what we were seeing? Yeah, I guess it is. Yes. Hi, everybody. Is that... Oh, you're coming after me, aren't you? Okay, we seem to have encountered a Kwama warrior. Yeah? What are you doing? What was that supposed to be? Yeah, about that. And we get some cuddle for it. Cool. Anyway, this is a Kwama Queen doing Kwama Queen stuff. Yeah, there's not much else going on here. Okay, well. Bye, everybody. Sorry I had to kill your aggressive warrior here. I guess he was just doing what he's supposed to do. Defend the queen! Because there's a Dark Brotherhood assassin here for her. Ooh. Another forager. And it is dead. And we'll take the cuddle. Wunderbar. And another. Wow. We killed that one before it even had a chance to start the combat music. That yeah, fitter's pretty handy with a sword. Ooh, that one got the drop on him, though. Because we were too busy looking around at a whole lot of nothing, really. Uh-huh. Oh, there goes another, uh... Another torch. Need to restock. Okay, so we're back where we started when we first came in. I guess we went here. Yep, to the mining camp. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, that wasn't so bad. Pretty easy little quest for the Fighters Guild, I'd say. talking to me? You don't like my Dark Brotherhood assassin outfit? I think it's wonderful. I'm gonna put the shield back on. I think Fetter needs a little nap. Until healed, yeah, sure. Ah. And the sun is up. That is nice. What's over here? Ooh, I see something. Looks like we have found 
a tomb. This is Theris Ancestral Tomb. Anybody home? Oh, I hear something. Um, we can get a torch out. But I have a feeling we're going to be using, uh, Firebite. Ooh, you resisted magic. It was trapped. I, I got a little ahead of myself there. Oh, well. Oh, boy. So, there's some stuff in there. Come and get me, then. I don't want to use magic on that, because I don't have to. Your long blade skill increased to 61. You have contracted brown rot. Oh, that's lovely. I'm going to take this bone meal. We could cure that. But maybe we should wait until we're done with the tomb, since there could be more, uh, bone walkers. Okay, I think that is behind the door. Ooh, that doesn't look good at all. Oh, here we go. Hi. Oh, your weapon has no effect. Okay. Let's, um, do we want to use firebite or frostbite? Let's use Firebite. Here we go. Failed casting the spell. Of course you did, because you're a better mark. And you're so bad with destruction. Hey, we're doing some damage now. Not a whole lot, though. Some. It is happening. Oh, I figured that last one had worked. Um, I'm just going to take a potion. I don't want to do all that over again. That's horrible. Come on. Hooray. And now let's, uh, let's heal. I said... Yeah, that's better. So, uh, what was that? That was a Bone Lord. I get six Bone Meal for that, which restores agility. Wonderful. And what is this? Ah, that's the brown rot. Wow. That damages strength and personality for 10 points each. Don't much care for that. Well, anyway. It'll take the bone meal. And the bone meal, of course. What else would be in there? I started hearing all the weird whispering, and I was like, what? What? But no, it's just because of this, uh, you know, little ancestral worship dirt pile. A locked chest, and a trapped chest. Okay. Go security. Expensive ring. All right. And now we will unlock this one with a uh, lockpick. Success. And Fedor gets a a Chitin War Axe and an Iron Wakazashi. You know what? Nah. Thanks, though. Thanks, though. Just, uh, not interested. I'm trying to see if there's anything interesting in this pile of filth here, but, um, doesn't look like it. So... Uh, yeah. Alright. Well, that was fun. I wonder if I can rest. If I close the door... No, you can't rest here. Enemies are nearby. Well, we need to get some of our magicka back. And I did not loot these urns. Take all the bone meal. As one does. I don't know why. Hmm. I think there might be another bone lord in there. What do you think? I also think that I would like to, uh... Oh, nope, that's the wrong... Still got all my keys messed up in my head. Um, I'm gonna take the torch off. And have a little nap. What? Your rest has been interrupted. Your light armor skill 
increased to 34. Well, thank you, Quama Forager. I guess that could have been worse. Anyway. Okay, let's, uh... Let's do this. I'm gonna sneak. And it's gonna work so well. Oh, that's just a skeleton. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna practice uh, magic anyway. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna practice my magic on you. Nice. It might as well, right? Confetter really does need destruction practice. That was a skeleton warrior. A steel club, an iron shield, and some bone meal. Consolation prize. Well, let's get the torch. Hmm. Shrine of Saint Veloth. Would you like to make a donation of five and receive a blessing? I don't think so. I don't think we need anything. Oh, wait a minute. We could just do a quick... No, we'll practice our own cure disease. In fact, let's, let's do that now. Cure common disease. That has a 74% chance of working, so... I am, uh... I'm thinking this ought to work. <laughs> of course not, of course not. There it is. We're out of magicka, but it worked. No more brown rot. That's cool. I like that a lot. Anyway, where were we? Ooh, scroll of lesser domination. Command creature six levels for 20 seconds on target. Command humanoid six levels for 20 seconds on target. That could be interesting. Uh, yes, of course. What else do we have here? The Theris... There goes the torch. Which I... There they are. I guess we could have used that to open the chest in there, but why do that when you can practice lockpicking? Uh, it's just a regular iron dagger. Standard restore fatigue. Not really interested, but we could sell it. 35. And exclusive invisibility. Invisibility for 60 seconds. Yeah. That could be nice. What's this? The Book of Dawn and Dusk. We've read that. We don't need to read it again. And I think... I think we're done here. Unless there's something... No. That was it. Okay. Cool. Well done, Fetter. Let's get that shield back on. Oh, wait a minute. Why am I running? We could just use Alm Civi into... Uh, hmm. We're out of Magicka. Let's rest like one hour. Maybe a little more than that, huh? I want to use all the intervention. Awesome! That worked out really well. Look at all the fog. Hmm. Well, back to the Fighters Guild. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. And we need to speak with Hades Fireeye. Go well ahead, friend. Listening. No worries, I won't hurt you. Ask your question. What's the status on those egg poachers, Apprentice? Don't make me assign this to another person. Well, I got them. You got both of them? Good. Here's your payment. 100 septums. And we've got some extra potions from a recent raid. Take these. They'll come in handy. Just tell me when you're ready for more orders. 100 gold has been added to your inventory. 4 quality restore fatigue has been added to your inventory. Your journal has been updated. I think I would like some... Advancement? The Fighters Guild recognizes you, Fettermach. You are now Fettermach the Journeyman. Hey, very cool. Very cool. Let's, let's get some additional orders. 
We have a contract from the Caldera Mining Company to kill four Telvanni agents responsible for trouble at the Caldera Mine. Oh, really? Four Telvanni agents are responsible for thefts and disappearances at the Caldera Ebony Mines. Their names are Alanu Arlen, Sathasa Narothran, Fathina Harothran, and Alvaleg. They're hiding in a cave in the hills north of Caldera Mine. When the four agents are dead, report back to me. Take care, it's very likely that one of them is on lookout posted outside the mines. The quickest way to Caldera is probably to have the guild guide at the Mages Guild transport you, but it is your choice. Your journal has been updated. Four people, yikes. And her disposition, with Fetter increased by nine to eighty. Well, I'd like to ask some more questions. Tell me about those Telvani agents again. When the four Telvani agents are dead, report back to me. What about the uh, egg poachers? You taught those poachers a lesson, journeyman. I did. Uh, well, what about these thefts and disappearances? The Caldera Mining Company says they've learned a group of Telvani agents are spying on the Caldera Mine Works. There have been a number of ebony thefts, missing guards, escaped slaves, and these Telvani agents are responsible. Oh, those dastardly Telvani agents. What are they plotting? What will they do next in their attempts to stop Moose and Squirrel? Right, tell me about the Caldera Ebony Mines. They're southwest of the town of Caldera, I believe. Check around when you're in Caldera, they'll give you better directions. All right. Well, we can ask about each of the Telvani agents individually for some reason, so tell me about Alanu Arlen. She's been expelled from the Fighters Guild. She stole from her guild steward. She's stupid, but she can fight. She joined the Thieves Guild when we kicked her out, but she's nobody important. This Caldera Mine Trouble is not a Thieves Guild job. Thieves Guild job? I told you. This Caldera Mine Trouble is not a Thieves Guild job. Yes, they are Thieves Guild, and if you belong to the Thieves Guild and you murder a Thieves Guild member, you get expelled. But it's only murder if the crime is reported. And you're not going to report it, are you? And after all, I'm your Fighters Guild steward, and I'm giving you a job to do. Don't make me wonder about where your loyalties lie. Ooh, a little conflict of interest there. I thought these were Telvani agents. What? What would the Thieves' Guild be doing working for the Telvani? That just doesn't make a lot of sense. We know that the Telvani have started to resort to hiring Westerners because they don't want to hire from House Redran anymore, but the Thieves' Guild? It's a very imperial organization. I don't know. Maybe they just weren't very discerning about this particular hire. Anyway, tell me about Sathasa Narothran. She's Thieves' Guild, a local Dark Elf. No one important. And this Caldera Mine Trouble has nothing to do with the Thieves' Guild. Why, why do you need to specify that? Methinks she doth protest too much. Well, tell me about Fathina Harothran. She's Thieves' Guild, a local Dark Elf. She's known on Azura's coast. She could be trouble. But like I told you, this Caldera Mine Trouble is not a Thieves' Guild job. Uh-huh. And what about Alvaleg? He's Thieves' Guild, a Wood Elf. The Telvani prefer to hire Nords and Wood Elves when they can't get natives. I know nothing about him. But this is not a Thieves' Guild job, so he has no protection. No protection? Whether this is a sanctioned Thieves' Guild job or not, he's got three other Thieves' Guild members with him. I think he's protected. And Fetter can't just go murdering other members of the Thieves' Guild. Something about this sounds funny. Ugh. Disgusting. Thank you. I'll remember that. Let's check the journal. Sixth of Heartfire, Day 22. I reported taking care of the egg poachers at Shulk Egg Mine, and Aedis Fire I paid me 100 gold and gave me some extra potions. Sixth of Heartfire, Day 22. I'm to find and kill four Telvani agents responsible for thefts and disappearances at the Caldera Mine. Their names are Alanu Arlen, Sathasa Narothran, Fathana Harothran, and Alvaleg. They're hiding in a cave in the hills north of Caldera Mine, and they probably have a lookout posted outside the mine. When the four agents are dead, report back to Aedis Fire Eye. Okay. 
Tidings and good wishes to you, friend. It would be a privilege to talk with you. It sure would, but uh, right now I just want to take a nap. You had a disturbing dream. You can only recall one part. A tall figure with a golden mask led you among the dead as through a wedding celebration. You heard many voices, but no lips moved. You strained to breathe, but your chest didn't move. The tall figure spoke with each figure as he passed among them, laughing and joking, as if they were alive, but they made no reply. You tried to cry out, but without breath, your tongue fluttered in vain. Okay. Well, that's, uh... Lovely. Sure. And, uh... Fetter's health and Magicka were not restored. We need to try that again. There we go. All better. So now Fetter's having horrible nightmares. That's just great. I'm sure he can find something to distract himself from them in the next video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.